Hey everyone, this is Edwan. Today it's time for a review video. So WA Production sent me their Pumper plugin and now it's time to see how it sounds, if it's useful for you, and compare it to other plugins like the Sound Goodizer, for example. The Pumper is described as being the ultimate sound tool. Is that right? Is it better than other plugins? Can it replace the Sound Goodizer? Let's find out. So this plugin features one compressor, one saturator, and one stereo widener. So the first thing that you will note about this plugin is that it looks really simple. It has three big knobs. The first one is the compressor. The compressor features four modes. One is the punchy mode, which is great for kicks and percussions. The fat mode, which is meant to bring out the bottom end of your sound and to make it sound big and fat, which is like a replacement for the sausage fattener. The clean mode is softer, it's more transparent, and it's better for vocals and for acoustic instruments like guitars or spinners. And finally, the soft mode is meant to be used on your master channel to compress a little bit your overall signal. The saturator is meant to make your sound warmer. So let's say that you have a vocal which sounds a bit metallic and cold. You can just increase the saturator and give it this analogic organic warmth. The third knob controls the amount of stereo widening and I think it's great to use on a pad or a lead sound for example. So this simplicity seems great for beginners because as a beginner you are more likely to make mistakes when tweaking with the ratio, the release, the threshold of a compressor and this plugin doesn't allow you to make such mistakes. It can be also great for advanced producers because you don't necessarily have a lot of money to spend in three uh, separate plugins. Here you pay once and you get these three plugins and this will free up a lot of space in your mixing channels and you have these three knobs at your disposal and if you know how to use it then you don't need a lot of buttons to tweak. <laughs> and now let's switch to the most exciting part of my review. How does it sound? So I'm going to try this plugin on several types of signals and see how it acts. I'm going to try this plugin on four types of signals and we'll see how it sounds, if it adds something, and I'm also going to compare it with the Sound Goodizer because I know you guys love the Sound Goodizer. Nobody really knows what the Sound Goodizer does. Maybe FL Studio God knows or maybe Luigi knows, but no one knows what is happening behind the scenes of the Sound Goodizer and I'm really curious to know. The Sound Goodizer is probably a mix of EQ, compressor, saturation, FL Studio goodness and Luigi hair, I don't know. Here at least with a pumper you know what each knob is doing. So I've loaded my Don Diablo style project. So let's first listen to the drop as it is now. So I'm going to test the pumper on four types of signals. The lead sound, drums, vocals, and on the master channel. So here is the lead sound without the pumper. and with the pumper. Without the pumper. With. In the context of the track. So you can definitely hear that the sound is warmer, the transients are better, so I think that's great. And now let's try the pumper on the drums. So without the pumper, with the pumper. Here the drums feel more 
glued together, tighter and other little bit warmer. So now let's try this plugin on my vocal chops without and with. And now let's try this on the master bass with the soft mode for the compressor because it's meant to be used on the master. So without and with. And now it's time for the conclusion. So for me the positive points are, first point, it's really simple to use and thus it makes it less likely that you make mistakes. So for a beginner, it's a great plugin. Second positive point is it's really versatile. It features a compressor, a saturator and a stereo widener all in one. So that means that you pay only once for these three uh, effects and it takes only one slot on your mixer bus, leaving more room for other plugins. Positive point number three. It sounds great, as you can hear, it can make your sound fatter, warmer, wider, depending on what you want, and you can use it pretty much on any signal. A negative point for me is that you don't get the level of control that you get with other plugins. You cannot adjust the ratio precisely, the threshold. If you like to really tweak it in the finest details, this plugin is probably not made for you. So on the Luigi scale from zero to 10, I would give this plugin eight Luigi's. So the link to download this plugin is in the description. Check it out. Please let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this plugin? Have you tried it already? Do you think it sounds good? So don't forget to pray to FL Studio God and see you soon. Good job Luigi, give me five.